Hi everybody and welcome back. This is the Control Engineering Geek. In this video, I am going to talk about the infinite MPC problem along with the MATLAB implementation. Let us jump into the subject. MPC is an online model based controller. It utilizes the process model to predict its behavior over some horizon so that an optimal C control actions is computed. For state space representation of the process, the controller requires only the state values or their estimate and MIMO systems can be handled implicitly. As the MPC problem is an optimization problem, one can easily include constraints on the state as well as the manipulated control variables in the control problem. Let me now introduce you to the typical methods utilized for stabilizing an MPC problem. Typically, the stability of an MPC controller can be achieved through adding a terminal stabilizing weight and or set bounding the first state or assuming long or infinite horizon. In this video, we are focusing on the first method that is the adding a terminal stabilizing weight. Simply the idea is by adding the terminal cost that is designed based on infinite LQR problem, the MPC optimization problem mimics solving a cost with infinite horizon but with finite constraints. The addition of terminal sets or constraints are also possible but with an adequate horizon, this could be eliminated without affecting the stability. Let us stick to adding only a stabilizing weight. The cost function of a state regulating MPC is typically given as Here the cost J has two terms. The first term is trying to minimize the states, that is bringing them to zero. The second term, however, is attempting to minimize the control efforts. The matrices Q, S along with death for predefined weights while NP is the prediction horizon. The last term is a terminal weight that is added to stabilize the MPC in the closed loop mode. The mathematician, norm of the vector x is just a typical L2 vector norm. Now let us get closer to the MPC stability with the horizon. The closed loop stability of the MPC problem is achieved by letting the horizon NP approaches infinity. This, however, prevents the online application of the MPC as the online compute time is very large especially when the controlled process has a big dynamic and hard constraints being active. In literature, however, it is suggested to solve the following problem instead. The combined MPC and LQR controller. Where J sub NP is the MPC problem. While J sub infinity is the LQR problem. So weight P in the last term of the cost can be determined by solving the MPC problem but with horizon approaching infinity, which is simply the LQR problem. As stated earlier, during the finite horizon that is the MPC problem, the constraints are active. While when we are solving the LQR problem, we assume that the states are inside the composed limits, that is no active constraints and only LQR controller is in charge. The figure shows this procedure where the MPC problem is active outside the blue circle, while the LQR is active only inside the circle. In this slide we are going to see how to formulate the finite MPC problem into a quadratic optimization problem that has to be solved in between pullings. The finite MPC problem has a cost function as shown here which is subjected to the process dynamic, which is here given in the state space format, and hard constraints on the manipulated variables, that is the control actions. Note that we can also impose constraints on the states as well as the outputs, but we only consider hard constraints. Also note that all the control actions along the horizon and P are saturated. Let us now see how we can formulate this problem in a way that we can use MATLAB for implementing the finite MP problem. The cost function could be written in stack form as shown. 
where capital X represents all future states along the horizon and P while capital U is the future control actions which is our variable sequence that have be solved for. The capital Q is the state waiting matrix. The capital S is defined as Q. OK, let us see how the dynamic is represented. The dynamic along the horizon and P can be written as the shown equation where the quantities capital F sub X and capital M sub X are given as shown. It is worth to mention that these trices are driven by the repeated application of the process dynamic along the horizon. Let's see how to represent the hard constraints. First let's stack all Kimball actions into one inequality. Now we have to divide this inequality into two inequalities and use a simple trick to convert the second one into equal or less inequality. At this point we can put both inequalities in one matrix type inequality as shown. Where just like before, the U max is the stack vector of all upper bounds on the control actions. Similarly for the lower bound U minet. From all above. The finite MPC problem can be formulated as following. The finite cost is written as shown which is subjected to the control hard constraints. In MATLAB, we have the function quad in our case it needs four variables, capital H, F, capital A, and B. This function attempts to minimize the shown cost that objected to the inequality a u equal or less than b. From our above MPC problem, we can identify the required variables as shown below which are taken directly from the finite cost function given above the slide. OK, now let us jump to the LQR problem. The LQR problem can be formulated as following. As with the finite MPC problem, we have OST function on the states and control actions that is subjected only to the process dynamic. Note that the horizon here is infinity. We do not consider constraints on the control actions LQR problem at least in this video. Now assume the existence of a Lyapunov function V of X at sample K such that this function is non-negative for all X that is not equal to zero, and the Lyapunov stability is satisfied through this inequality. The satisfaction of the two points ensured if there exists a matrix P such that the weighting matrix P is semi-positive definite, and the following inequality that is driven from Panov stability is true. In driving the second inequality, it is assumed that U equals to K multiplied by the state X that is a state feedback. Through LMI technique, the LQR problem would be. As shown, we have two LMIs that have to be satisfied at same time. We have changed two variables as shown below in order to drive the two LMI relations. We can combine both controllers into one state regulator in very simple step as following. As we can write one cost function of both controllers as then we can stack both controllers cost as where the weight on the state's capital Q sub P simply constrains the stabilizing matrix P that has been computed from the LQR as a terminal weight. Let us now see how we can translate all what have been stated in a MATLAB script. As shown by the fig, the MATLAB script has an MPC combined LQR controller that requires the state of the process to produce the control sequence. The first element in the sequence is injected into the process. Up on the next state of the process, the whole optimization process is repeated. The state of the process could be available or could be estimated by filter. Here, I am using a Kalman filter. The process is subjected to process noise W of K while the output is assumed to be contaminated with some noise V of K as well. The Kalman filter demands the input control action along with process output in order to estimate the states. The utilized process is unstable with five states, two inputs and outputs. 
the eigenvalues of the state matrix is as shown. We have three poles outside the unit circle, the bold black circle. The process is unstable. The MATLAB, the MATLAB script starts by introducing the process dynamic through a state space representation along with the cost function matrices. Next is checking the controllability and observability of the process which are essential for the design of the MPC, LQR, as well as the Kalman filter. The following step is coming the terminal stabilizing weight P through the LMI problem. We are using the CVX solver for this purpose. The matrix P is computed from the inverse of the LMI variable capital E. One can check the stability of the closed loop system under this designed LQR through the eigenvalues of the matrix A closed. For the relation, we need to define some variables such as the initial states X sub 0 as well as the simulation horizon as H. As we need the process states as feedback, we are required to design the Kalman filter. Here, I am using the MATLAB function Kalman for that. I assume that all states in the process are subjected to some noise which I called P noise. The outputs are also assumed to be contaminated with the M noise. Once again, one can check the stability of the Kalman through the eigenvalues of the matrix SIG K MLC. Now we came to the MPC plus LQR simulation. First we give a long horizon of 15 just to test the MPC without the terminal weight. Also need to compute the MPC matrices F sub X and M sub X. This is done through the function MPC matrices. For the hard constraints, I assume a box saturation on both control variables where 0.5 is set as an upper bound and minus 0.5 for the lower bound. After the constraints corresponding matrices along NP are defined, we need to define weights along the horizon. Note that for the state weight capital Q, the matrix is set to NP-1. This gives us the ability to add or remove the terminal weight P into the MPC problem as shown on line 90. The main loop of the simulation is next. The loop starts with the computation of the control action sequence through the quad prog function. Next, we need to apply the first element of this sequence on the process as shown by lines 99 and 100. Note that the process is applied on by the noises. After the propagation of the dynamic, we need to estimate the states as both the applied control actions and the process outputs are available for the Kalman filter. The S states X sub E is set to X sub P for the next sampling. Finally we need to collect the results for plotting which is shown in the lines 105 through 107. The very final step is to plot the states along with the applied control actions. This is given by the lines 111 through 122. This was a brief explanation of the MATLAB script. We need to run this code three times. One with large horizon of 15 and without the terminal way. Here in line 90, we just replace the matrix P with matrix Q. Run the script. As can be seen the MPC with long horizon is able to stabilize the process. The second run is with short horizon say 3. Run the script again. Here the MPC was not able to stabilize the process with short horizon. The final run is with the terminal LQR being active. In line 90, replace the Q with P. Run the script and make sure that the horizon is small such as 3. As you can see, the MPC with the LQR are able to stabilize the process with short horizon. I hope this video was good for whoever is watching. You can find a copy of the scripts in the description. Thank you and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button.